So you said your favorite scene in Interstellar is the intense docking scene with the AI and Cooper talking, saying, uh, Cooper, what are you doing? Docking, it's not possible. No, it's necessary. <laughs> Such a good line. By the way, just so many questions there. Why an AI in that scene presumably is supposed to be able to compute a lot more than the human is saying it's not optimal. Why the human, I mean, that's a movie, but uh, shouldn't the AI, AI know much better than the human? Anyway, uh, what do you think is the value of setting seemingly impossible goals? So like uh, <laughs> our initial intuition, which seems like something that uh, you have taken on that Elon espouses that where the initial intuition of the community might say this is very difficult and then you take it on anyway with a crazy deadline. You just from a human engineering perspective, um, uh, have you seen the value of that? I wouldn't say that setting impossible goals exactly is is a good idea, but I think setting very ambitious goals is a good idea. I think there's a what I call sublinear scaling of difficulty, uh, which means that 10x problems are not 10x hard. Usually 10x, pro 10x harder problem is like two or three x harder to execute on. Because if you want to actually like, if you want to improve a system by 10%, it costs some amount of work. And if you want to 10x improve the system, it doesn't cost, you know, 100x amount of the work. Mm -hmm. And it's because you fundamentally change the approach. And it, if you start with that constraint, then some approaches are obviously dumb and not going to work. And it, it forces you to reevaluate. Um, and I think it's a very interesting way of approaching problem solving. But it requires a weird kind of thinking. It's just going back to your like PhD days, it's like, how do you think which ideas in, in the machine learning community are solvable? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's uh, it requires, what, what is that? I mean, there's the cliche of first principles thinking, but like it requires to basically ignore what the community is saying. Cause doesn't the community, doesn't a community in science usually draw lines of what is and isn't possible? Right. And like, it's very hard to break out of that without going crazy. Yeah. I mean, I think a good example here is, you know, the deep learning revolution in some sense, because you could be in computer vision at that time when during the uh, deep learning sort of revolution of 2012 and so on. Uh, you could be improving a computer vision stack by 10%, or you can just be saying, actually, all of this is useless. And how do I do 10x better computer vision? Well, it's not probably by tuning a hog feature detector. Mm -hmm. I need a different approach. Um, I need something that is scalable. Going back to uh, Richard Sutton's um, and understanding sort of like the philosophy of the uh, bitter lesson mm -hmm. and then being like, actually, I need a much more scalable system like a neural network that in principle works. And then having some deep believers that can actually execute on that mission and make it work. So right. that's the 10x solution. 